next, I'm gonna get you or die trying. Mm -hmm. Hello, Lois. Welcome back, Doctor. Uh, welcome back, Lois. It's good to be back. And congratulations. Thank you, Lois. Ms. Salma's woman is scheduled at a 12 o'clock for her first visit. Oh, I know, Lois. Thank you. Do you need anything? No. Please don't disturb me until Ms. Suleiman arrives. Yes, Doctor. <laughs> yes, Lois. Your wife is here, Doctor. Is Mrs. Stansky to you? And really, you're announcing me to my own husband? Mr. Frederick said he didn't want to be disturbed. Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, hi, honey. Letter in Lois. Honey, I was literally calling you. I know. This is how you congratulate your husband after he wins an award? Your phone has been off for three days, Fred. Uh, I know. I'm sorry, honey. The battery was broken. My schedule was packed. I had no time to fix it. It's been very frustrating for me, too. The kids have been waiting at home all morning. They woke up early, made their beds, put on their best clothes, and put everything in a pile that they wanted to show you. I have a session. I had to come straight from the airport. Did you have to schedule a session today? I had it scheduled a long time ago. I couldn't shift it around. You know, Fred, if it were only me, I would have left a long time ago. Yeah, don't say that. It's true. But it's not only me. Your kids worship you. They know your career comes first, second, third. They're even asking for fourth place. They just want a place. The last time you saw them was three weeks ago, and you haven't spent any time with them in six months. I have important work, Jane. We both know it doesn't have to be this way. It's just your choice to make that wall bigger. Of course not. You don't care about anything else. Poor things. Whenever they're going to spend time with you, they get so excited, I see them running around, scrambling, looking for ways to please you like beggars. And I watch how you manipulate them. Mr. Lovely and Mr. Wonderful understand the father, the father who's not there but knows everything. You brainwash your own kids, you sick bastard. Jane! What? And you didn't even allow them to be angry with you? It's normal for kids to be angry with their parents. And you deny them even that right. You're, you're a cruel man, Fred, and I wish I never would have met you. Don't say that. Don't. Okay. Okay. You're right. I haven't been very present with the kids lately. I, I could have done better. Here's what I'm going to do. I, I'm going to finish this session. I'm going to cancel the rest of the week. I'm going to come straight home. And we'll go somewhere together. We'll, we'll book tickets tonight, and, and we'll leave tomorrow. The kids have school tomorrow. Honey, honey, there's a patient here. This conversation is not over. And you can tell your secretary to give me some respect. Yeah, anything you say, honey. I, I, well, I'll make it up to you and the kids as soon as I get home, I promise. I'm so tired of your promises and your lies. Oh, hold on. I've never lied to you. Now please, go home and tell the kids that I miss them more than anything in the whole world, but I had to come straight here from the airport. Which one is it? Uh, no, that one. So you had to go straight from the airport to have that frame and to hell with the kids waiting for you at home? Come on, Jane. You know the, the guy I had to go to was on the way. It would have made no sense for me to come all this way to go back again. Give me those car keys. My big car. Yes, I'm taking the kids to my mother's. Why are you going to your mother's all of a sudden? I'm leaving you, Fred. You'll be getting divorce papers from my attorney. What happened? We were fine just a minute ago. Nothing happened. I should have done this a long time ago. And what about the kids? I want the kids as far away from you as possible. You're, you're a horrible role model, Fred. I want them to understand what it's like to have a good father. Let's
There's someone else. I wish. Jane, Jane, I, I love you. You only loved me when I was amazed by you. And when that wore off, now you're like a rabbit hiding in its hole. I'm not going to allow you to psychologically damage my kids, and I'm not going to allow strangers to bother them. Jane, you can't. Don't do this to me. I know I messed up, but you're not standing by me now that I need you more than ever. I'm doing important work here. Great research, big stuff. You should understand that and take your place. I honestly expected better from you, hounding me with all this guilt when I'm doing this for all of us. I'm going to be the youngest doctor to win the APA award, and when I go down in history, you and the kids go down with me. You're pathetic. Go down in history yourself. Honey, honey, wait. Uh, wait! At least wait until I come home and see the kids first! You are home, Fred. Wait, wait, wait. You don't, you can't do this to me! You're not thinking of my patients! You're not, fine! Go! You'll come back! I'll get so big, you'll have no choice but to come back! Buzz. She'll come. Yes, Lois. Sama Suman is here, Doctor. Uh, bring her in. Yes, Doctor. Hello. Welcome. Was she one of your patients? Please, sit. Thank you. How are you feeling today? I'm fine, thank you. Is this your first time seeing a psychiatrist? Yeah, I thought that I needed to try something different. Is that why you came here? No. I thought to be someone really nice to talk to. I have no one to talk to. There are a lot of people around me, but no one to really talk to. We talk a lot, but what we say go around in circles. Do you have someone to talk to? Well, let me explain what today is. The first session is always an assessment for me. I, I only take clients that have a notable need for therapy, which means if I do see that you need to confide in a therapist, which is fine, I will refer you to a very good marriage counselor. What is your interior designer? Thank you, but I, uh, I put it together myself. This is exactly how I want it. You wouldn't want to do my new reading room, would you? Not for free, of course. Come to my beach house, see the room, name your prize. I'll even make you mother's chocolate cake for the occasion. She says I loved it ever since I was a little girl. Uh, thank you, but I don't do that sort of thing. Sorry, of course you don't. You're a professional. <clears throat> you look very into your own thing. Far away kind of guy? I mean that in a good way, of course. You have that grand thing. Father was that way. A great businessman, but not really a good father. He was never home to his family. You should go home to your family. Sorry. It, it, it's, it's okay. Let's, let's talk about the reason why you came here. My husband, my husband is the reason. We haven't done anything in the bedroom for ages. The problem is he has no sense of timing. We'd be in the best place at the best time and he'd say something that will completely ruin the moment. He's a very talented party poop. I always tell him, you should have been a professional party pooper. It's hard to live with someone like that. Someone you have really nothing in common with. <laughs> All he cares about is collecting guns. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember why I picked him in the first place. All I know, one minute we met, the next we were married. I still don't know how. I can refer you to a very good marriage counselor. How is, how is your marriage life, doctor? 
do you satisfy your wife in bed? Uh, do, you get, do you get along together? Or is it a complete mess? I have a very good marriage. Thank you very much, Mrs. Suleiman. I will ask you only to talk about yourself. I am here to treat you, not me. I get suicidal thoughts all the time, you know. To free myself? From your husband. I have no control over my life, doctor. I live things I don't want to live, but I don't know what to do. I try to do the things people want me to do, but I end up not doing them right. The problem is I don't think I want to do them in the first place. Sometimes I can't breathe. <laughs> Last week, I was invited in the biggest party of the year. I have been preparing a dress for weeks now for that party. But people, they're snobs. They take you in so far only when you're different. Mother said it's my fault. She says people like us have to make more effort, get more into society. She says, I don't invite enough people. My parties aren't swingy enough. My husband is too much of a clout, she says. I told her, I told her my life is unbearable, just unbearable. She doesn't listen. She makes it all about herself. Huh. How she raised me all by herself, alone in our big house. How father was always away. I hate the house. It has bad energy. I, t I told her to move. She likes it there. She says it has good memories. I can't remember them. I don't remember my childhood, doctor. She says I let her down. Really? Really, mom? I let you down? What do you want? La, la, la. Hi, dear mother, I love you. Life is good, life is great. Thank you, mother, for everything. <laughs> but life is not great. Life is not normal. Normal! Normal! Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It would really make me happy if you just think about it, if you can just do the reading room. I have a very strong feeling if this reading room is done right, it will solve all my problems. It reminds me of father's reading room. I have dreams about it. They feel so real, like they're memories. I sit on his chair and, and I read the Quran out loud and I hold the cane like I'm a teacher in a classroom. And I stand on the desk and I, I say, don't do like the mother, don't do like the father, don't let the devil get into your house, <coughs> don't let do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Please, 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 just sit down. I upset you. It's okay. Now you're gonna get upset at me. Everyone is upset at me. You, mother, my husband. He says I'm unable to love. I'm too into myself and to the wrong things. I'm shallow. I am shallow. Me? I don't know. You want a sample? You want to see inside? Take a big breath. Breathe. Breathe. Now, I think we should stop now. I upset you. No, no, not at all. I just think you came unprepared. I didn't expect any of this. But it's why you came. Now, I want this session to end now. I won't charge you for it. I want you to take a few quiet days, go home, and when you're ready, I want you to think about everything we've talked about today. Now. This should help you with your anxiety. What is it? Oh, this is just something to call. Okay, I understand, but is it something you would take? Yes, I would. Okay. Now, the main thing, next time, 
is to come prepared with your thoughts organized so that we can talk. I don't talk think I should come again. No, that is up to you. But I strongly advise you to keep coming. Now, you have a lot bottled up inside you, and it's flooding out beyond your control. It needs to be dealt with. That's dealt with how? Now, since you ask, our objective together will be towards giving you more control over your life. But, in order to control, we first have to organize. Now, that means taking your big bundle of subjects and separating them into separate elements so that we can talk about each one on its own. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You expect me to sit here and talk about my family members? They're still my family. I mean, especially mother. She gave me everything. She raised me on her own. I have her taste, her elegance. I look exactly like her when she was young. Just don't remember her when she was wrong, young. So, something doesn't feel right, doctor. It feels like life started just in the middle. I don't like my mother. I don't like the way she deals with people. The way she deals is disgusting. It's sick. It's sick. Uh, take a deep breath, please. Oh. Please. <sighs> Sorry. I feel ashamed. No, no. This is oh. the only place in the world where you should not feel ashamed. In. Now, please do as I ask and take the anti-anxiety medication. It will help you think clearer. Okay, doctor. And I will see you next week, Salma. Get up. Get up. Thank you. Insane.